Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another watch list stock here. So in this video, I'm going to be discussing Adobe here. So, you know, my quick thoughts on Adobe is that I still think it can fall a little, a little bit further. But uh, what I see is that there is a very um, huge price target for Adobe. You know, we have analysts putting it around 620. So if you want to follow the analyst, I wouldn't say it's a bad idea. I think it can be worth around 600 if they are able to execute on AI, which I will get into. Um, but so far for the stock price, what I'm looking for is about 413, which is going to be the 0.618 Fibonacci, typically a strong uh, support level. Right now, it's hovering slightly above the 0.5. Um, so, you know, right now, I think if you were to buy it, I wouldn't think it's a bad idea. Just that if you look at the RSI and the MACD, it does signify that it can move down a little bit further. Although, you know, if you look at the futures market, which is going to, you know, open, uh, the market is going to open in a couple of uh, minutes here, around 35 minutes. Um, the futures market for the S&P 500 is pretty green. So we can see the S&P 500 move up and Adobe can move up uh, alongside with the uh, S&P 500. So even though I'm looking for a lower price, I don't think this price is necessarily super overvalued. Okay, so that's why I think of uh, Adobe's stock price. Let's move into um, some of the fundamentals here. So over here we have uh, visualstocks.com. You can see that everything for Adobe is generally moving in the right direction. Um, this is their, uh, I guess this is their different products here, but what I'm trying to focus on is their revenues. You can see that they are bringing in $5 billion in revenue per quarter. So this is an unstoppable company. Um, so I, I don't think they're going bankrupt anytime soon here. Um, you can see that net income did drop a little bit so they are investing some money into ai um, is what i'm supposing they are doing cash flows are down a little bit once again they are just reinvesting their money um, somewhere i'm i'm pretty sure it's ai um, so yeah you can see that the r d is uh, I, I would say it's increasing a little bit then you can see that their cash and debt is i would say it's pretty good you know they don't have a sizable amount of debt um, they, they still have a, a, a lot of cash. I'm not worried about their, their balance sheet here. And they are also buying back stock. So all these factors are going to push the stock up passively. Um, but I will say one thing, um, their revenue growth is slowing down a, a little bit. And their PE is at about 52 here. So I would actually expect a lower PE. Um, that's why I'm, I'm waiting on a better price for Adobe. Um, but if they do somehow increase their revenue next quarter, uh sizably then you know we're gonna see that pe sort of move down here and yeah so i'm still waiting for a better price here but the the fundamentals are not at a bad place it's all actually moving in the right direction except for the cash flows and net income which i think will be fixed if they are able to um uh, apply ai right so here is my written thoughts on, on uh, AI, sorry, Adobe here and their AI strategy. Um, so you can screenshot this if you want to take a look here. I wrote this a couple of days ago. Um, it's, it's on my Twitter. So I summarized the article. Basically, there are a few points here. We don't know how AI will affect Adobe. Um, the thesis is that people using generative AI for something like uh, art generation don't use Adobe, right? A lot of people who use uh, AI generation don't know how to draw anything. Um, that's my thesis here. And then uh, Adobe already has AI, which I will get into. They already have their own applied AI. Um, and, you know, Adobe generates 5 billion per quarter. So what I'm seeing with AI video um, editing is that a lot are raised uh, or rather a lot are using venture capitalist money and they are not going to be able to compete with something like an adobe that can generate its own revenue and fund its own ai uh, processes so i'm not going to be worried about those small ai companies that are popping up which i will go through um, then you know adobe generates five billion per quarter okay i already said that um, adobe has ai and I want to wait until the AI bubble sort of either either you know pops drastically or actually you know subsides a little bit. So we are probably going to see a lot of these AI products um, either close down or start to merge, or it, Adobe can actually start to buy up um, these products here. So not really products, but uh, there are there are a couple of websites here. So. You know, what does Yahoo Finance think about Adobe? The PE is a little bit high. 
uh, 45. You know what? The, the PE seems to be a little bit different from visual stocks here. Um, earnings per share is not bad here. And uh, let's see what the uh, analysts are rating it. Wow, it's they are rating it around a buy here, an average of uh, 619 for the price. So analysts are very, very positive on the stock here. And once again, I, I think I'm going to be wrong in the short term, but um, I, I still want a, 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 a better price for Adobe, even though I'm not necessarily uh, going to buy it just yet. Uh, but I, I just think there's a better price for Adobe. Okay. So what am I talking about with Adobe's AI strategy? So we have Adobe Firefly. This is where you can generate um, some images from Adobe. You can see that it's very similar to, you know, other uh, AI generation that's, that's out right now by something like an open AI. Um, and it, I think this comes with the Adobe Creative Suite, if I recall. So, you know, people who actually use Adobe already can have access to this. And that's just a plus, right? And then we also have Adobe uh, Video Editing, which is, it's not something like a, a generative uh, thing. Like it's not going to edit the video itself, but you can use AI to help in editing, right? And I think this is very different from a lot of these other companies that are coming out with AI video you know, editing that's just using, I think, LLMs and just using transcripts to try to edit videos. But I will tell you this, um, because I am a, a content creator, I've tried to use some of these products and they don't fucking work. So I, I don't, I honestly don't think, you know, these venture capitalists, uh, that are funding these projects are going to get a working product. I think what's going to work is Adobe is going to create something that will actually work because they have the uh, money to do it, right? So uh, you can actually extend something using AI here. So you can see it's generating here. Um, and this is what is going to, I think, differentiate um, Adobe from all these other products because I don't think the other products can actually do this. Um, and I, I just don't think, you know, it, it's just a different way of applying it. I think what Adobe is doing makes more sense in the video uh, creation space here. So, you know, what are these sort of competitors we're talking about? That is a, a, a crap ton of these um, AI video editing uh, softwares. I, I use ClipChamp here. I don't necessarily think it works. I've tried it. I, I think it's a waste of time. Um, I think Canva is, is pretty real here. I haven't tried that, but that is a lot of AI video editing. And I think most of these guys are just using, once again, uh, open AI, chat GPT, and then transcripts to try to um, aut automatically cut videos, which is I, honestly, it doesn't work. It, I, I don't know how to tell this. I just think it doesn't work. Rather, I, I actually use some of these and they just straight up don't work. So I think this uh, AI sort of video editing space is going to uh, pop. I, I think they're going to, a lot of these guys are going to die and who is going to win i think adobe is going to win okay so you can see most of these guys have about like six reviews right nobody is using this and even if they are even if they somehow manage to uh, make these sort of ai video editors work i don't think they are professional i think most of these guys are trying to start youtube channels like me and they're not necessarily making money so they're not going to pay these guys eventually the vc funding is going to uh, dry up and most of these companies are going to fail. People are going to move back into Adobe and oh, look, Adobe actually has a real product, a real AI product that works. And yeah, I think Adobe is going to win. I think there could be a better price if, you know, Wall Street thinks that Adobe is actually uh, going to get disrupted, which I don't think is the case. Um, then Adobe uh, might be mispriced by the market here. So. Once again, I think that could be a better price for Adobe. But if you're looking at the actual Wall Street analysts for the long term, for you know the next 12 months, they're putting it around 600, right? But I think sometimes you know Wall Street does tend to misprice things, and uh, yeah. So let's move on to the last point for today here. So this is simply Wall Street. Um, once again, I just want to look at how other people are sort of valuing the company, and simply Wall Street puts it at you know below fair value, actually undervalued. Um, so their fair value is around 570. Um, let's see what else they are saying about the company. Um, so fair PE is actually uh, lower. Sorry, the current PE is actually lower than a fair PE. So uh, Simply Wash is saying that they are a little bit undervalued here, uh, which is interesting. So once again, I think this is a good price, but 
I still think there could be a better price if somehow Wall Street messes up something. Um, and yeah, so this is definitely a stock you want to keep in your watch list. Look at the balance sheet; it's pretty, it's pretty pristine here. Um, I want to look at one last thing here. So if I recall, they don't have any dividend, right? Um, yeah, I don't think they're giving dividends here, so it's not a dividend play, which I don't expect it to be. Uh, let's. I want to look at uh, how many people are selling here. So insiders, it seems like are selling. I wouldn't say that's a lot of shares. So they're selling about twenty four million. Um, so yeah, insiders are selling. Uh, just one thing to keep in in mind of, even though I don't think that really matters. Um, eighty four percent institutional ownership. So that is very very good. Uh, and, and we know that uh, a lot of institutions hold the stock, so it's likely not going to be as I would say volatile. Even though you know with the uh, if you actually look at the stock price, it is actually pretty volatile, but I think this is actually, you know, this volatility is, is opportunity, okay? So I'm going to end it off there. I think Adobe is a very interesting stock, even though I, I do believe that there is a, a slight chance of getting a better price. If you are interested, if you have like, I, I don't know, if you if you really want to get in the market or, or if you have some money in the sidelines, I think Adobe could be a good play because what I'm seeing right now with the job market is that it's it's very hard to find jobs, right? So I think what people are gonna do is that they're gonna start uh, YouTube channels and they're gonna try to make uh, I I think some side income with YouTube channels and they're gonna use Adobe um to edit their their videos here. So I think Adobe is gonna win. I I think this is a good stock to buy. Uh, or you know, it's something you can add to your watch list if if you want a better price for it, like me. And yeah, so this is gonna be a, a very interesting stock to watch here. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. So thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, um, and see you in the next one.